Hi, this is TC Mabe with TC Gaming. I wanted to walk you through the process I used to create a new project for third person and then add a polygon asset pack to it from Cinti Studios and then convert the default mannequin to be able to use the characters that are provided in the Cinti asset pack. So I'm going to walk you through that process. The first thing we want to do is go into New Projects. I selected Third Person with Starter Content. You can call your project whatever you want to. I'm going to call mine Cinti Assets. And then I would hit Create Project. So after this is done creating uh, the project, I'll get back on here and we'll go through the rest of the steps. Okay, as you can see, our project has been created. And if we look at the sources over here, all we have is our mannequin, some starter content, and the third person and third person blueprints. So what I'm going to do is say save. And then I'm going to exit out of this, which will take me back into the Unreal Engine uh, marketplace area and library, where we can pick the other assets to bring in. So I'll show you that as soon as that's ready as well. Okay, inside of our Epic Games Library section, we have our various projects. You can see the one I just created called Cinti Assets. And if I go down through my Vault package, I'm going to be loading the Polygon Battle Royale. Again, this is from Cinti Studios. And you just simply hit Add to Project and select the project that you want to add it to, and then hit Add to Project. You'll see here that it's going to go through that process, and when it gets done, this bar will go away and it'll say add to project again. So when that is finished, I will join you back in the editor. Okay, now that the Polygon Battle Royale pack has been added into our project called Cinti Assets, we can just double click this to open it up and it will load the engine for us. It'll take a couple of seconds to load that up and it should bring us into the editor with our game and now if we look at our content here we'll see that we have the polygon battle royale folder has been added in in addition to our starter content third person third person blueprint so the process here is we want to go into polygon battle royale or whatever the package is that you've added we're going to go to meshes and we want to go to our characters and we're looking for the skeleton that has the little t pose on it so if we double click that, it'll bring us into this window where we can go into the retargeting manager and the skeleton tree. We want the retargeting manager section and we want to go into select rig and make sure that we select humanoid rig. It's going to tell us it needs to be saved. We're going to hit the save button. We also want to hit preview mesh and we're going to pick a preview mesh out of the package that we have there. <clears throat> Here are all the ones that are available to us. I'm going to grab one, we'll just call it Mail Armor Zero, or sorry, grab the wrong thing there. We're going to grab a preview mesh, and I'm going to use the one called Business Mail. And when we want to go over here and hit Apply to Asset, and then we want to save that. We're going to exit this window. I'm going to go to File, Save All, just to make sure that that is stored. Now what we want to do is we want to go to our mannequin folder to the character mesh and we're going to find our skeleton for the UE4 mannequin. And the same thing on here we want to go to setup rig under the retarget manager. We're going to select the humanoid rig. We're going to save that. <clears throat> we also want to highlight the arms. So here's the upper arm right we're going to grab this little bar here and we're going to rotate that until it says 50. And then we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to grab the other arm and rotate that until it says 50. And then we're going to go to Modify Pose, Use Current Pose, and Save. And what we've done basically is we've now taken our UE4 mannequin and put it in the same pose as our Cinti asset character is. When we leave this window, again, just go to File, Save All, make sure everything's uh, updated. What we want to do now is right-click on the UE4 mannequin skeleton 
and go to retarget to another skeleton. And we should see that our skeleton from the Battle Royale pack is available here, which will be in the second window. And now we want to go and hit retarget. If you don't see this here, it means that you didn't save something in that previous step. So just rewind the video, go back through it, and make sure you get that. But you should see a source and a target here. You're going to hit the retarget option. It's going to go through and do that. You'll see it changes uh, how this guy looks. So now we're going to say save current again. And at this point, what we want to do is we want to go from here down to our third person blueprint folder. And in the Blueprints folder, there's a third-person character there. If you drag that out into the window, you can now grab the third-person character and say, you right-click and say, Edit Third-Person Character. And you want to go to the Viewport, where you can see the character, and then select Mesh. And you're going to go over to the Mesh window over here. And in this drop-down, you're going to scroll through and select the Mesh that you used in the last one. I think I used Business Mail 01. So we're going to select that. And now you'll see that our character has changed to it. We're going to hit Save. Exit the third person character window. And now we can delete this guy. We just needed him to be able to give us a way to get into that. So we'll say Save Current. And if I hit Play, what I should have is a viewport window that pops up. <clears throat> and we can see that I now have the Cinti character in my little demo level here and I can run around and view that character okay so hopefully that makes sense the next quick video that I'm going to put together is to show you how to put this guy into the battle royale map and then how to change the size of his um, collision mesh so that he can actually fit through some of the doors and walk through the the areas that are out there. So hopefully this video helps you. <clears throat> I'm not a professional educator for um, Unreal Engine. I'm not affiliated with Cinti at all. I just like their packages and I'm going through the process of learning. So I was hoping this video would help somebody else. So if you liked it, give a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll be doing future videos that hopefully will, uh, as I learn things, I'll be putting them out there. So thank you and I'll see you soon.